on last week's Truck and Trailer Tuesday, we showed you some entry-level trailers. This week, we're gonna show you premium trailers. We've got two here from BYs that we really wanna show you. Sean here, I think, is gonna sell one right now. Stop Look at talking. that. This is cool. So that's the Hijacker Hydraulic Jack. I believe that's the name they give it. Every feature you see demonstrated here, as, as Sean demonstrates, is standard on this trailer. None of these are options. Oh, check this out. It's a dump. Let's go around here. Okay. Spare tire. Underneath. Standard. Scissor hoist. This trailer's 14 foot long. They make it in 12 and 14 and 16. I want you to notice that the frame is two. Now, last week I talked about you could have angle frame and channel frame. This is two. Tube is even stronger and still can be more compact. Oh, look in there. Look in there. He's switching the lever right there. So, so Sean, you've got, the, the, you've got one hydraulic pump one control in your hand, but then you switch what you're controlling right there, Correct. Right? All we do here is divert the fluid and run off the same hydraulic pump and motor, same fluid, and we just pump it to the different hydraulic functions, whether it's the hydraulic jack or whether it's the lift hoist or whether it's the uh, the gate in the back. Okay, uh, let's so go watch it work. Real convenient. Would you say it's a three-way door or a two-way door? We would call it a two-way door because it lays down like a ramp and also dumps underneath like a dump truck. So this is the dump mode, right? So he can actually raise it up, get it out of the way. You can dump your material out like that. I want you to notice how high it goes. Now, you could put pallets in there, right? Drive right up to it. If you have a typical ramp, you can't get in there with your skid steer or your tractor to get to a pallet. Once he gets it closed here, he switches those latches. Unlatches the top. Coming down, guys. Now the ramp's coming down. And then if you look over here, there's some legs that drop right here <laughs> that, uh, that will hold up the back end of the trailer in case you have some really heavy equipment that you want to load. So the ramp is capable of handling it. The only risk with, if you don't put these down is lifting up the front of the trailer, you know, the back of the truck. This is rated overall at 15.4, 15,400 pounds. So from a payload standpoint, of course you can transfer some of it to the truck, but somewhere around 10,000 pounds is what you could haul on this trailer. So a Mini X. Oh yeah, you could haul your Mini X to the job. You could load your trailer, and then you could, uh, you know, haul off the material and come back and pick up your Mini X. Now, what about a compact tractor? This is way too tall, right? There's absolutely no way I'm gonna be able to get Johnny to dump over the top of this. Well, we can pull these down. First time I've ever done it, so yeah, it wasn't real smooth. But we can lower this sideboard, and then we can get over it, I believe, even with Johnny. Hey, check out inside, Christy. Look here. We've got these rings right here for tie downs. And they're tied to the posts. These are going to be really strong. We've got quite a few of them. Yeah, we got six of them. Built in tarp. You saw it come over my head there. And it is standard, just like everything else on this trailer. This trailer's amazing. Hey, let's go look at those fancy wheels on it. The aluminum wheels. They look really cool and they're kind of lightweight. One thing we didn't mention in last week's video that this trailer has standard on it is an adjustable height hitch, okay? That allows you to keep the trailer level while it's hooked to your truck. So right here, you can adjust that to whatever height you need. You can also get the receiver hitch and the ball can be a drop hitch. So you can work those together to get whatever height you need because optimally you will keep your trailer level. The trailer frame should be level when you're pulling it. This trailer uses a bumper pull, right? I mean, it's not really a bumper pull, but that's usually the term that's that's given to any trailer that hooks to a, a receiver hitch on the back of your truck. So it doesn't really hook right on the bumper, but the term is usually bumper pull. The trailer is also available with a gooseneck. There's an option, a gooseneck pull. And in that case, you get two of the hijacker jacks, one on each side. 
Sean, you were just too busy. I had to take over. I'm so glad you did. But but show them our colors. Uh, oh well, we, Tim, you mean, show, it, it is Tim, right? Yeah, Tim, we we have. Look at all our colors, folks. You have black, right? We do have black. We got plain, boring black, and and then well, that's we, the only trailer. I mean, you nobody ever paints a trailer any other color. Black, hardly right? anybody ever knows anything but black. But we've got even some hammer tone, some textured paint oh, here, wow. in a, in a black and in a gray, yeah. and a lot of guys like to do. Uh, uh, the frame of, the, of these dump trailers uh, in this textured paint and then they top off the top of the bed with a variety of colors so you're looking at the lime green behind us here um, I can't see it oh there's a notice of is that that's not red is it, it? it is red the color oh. coming on the video is it's actually that color okay oh wow so I mean hey, it's, a, it's a pretty red so uh, yeah lots of colors folks lots of colors I'm gonna latch this thing Okay. so now the gate's secure let's raise the bed Up, up, and away! So, so Sean, what, what size tube is this? This is a 2 by 8 uh, 3 8 wall box tubing. Okay. Some and guys like to use channel. We happen to use tubing on this trailer. A little better eye appeal, a little bit stronger. You're going to love it. So the storage underneath the bed, you can see on the tray, this side of the, tr the tray, this half of the frame. It leaves space on the other side for the spare tire, which I think you already <laughs> talked about. So throw your tools in here. If employees get in trouble, you can put them in here for the day. Oh, awesome. and they can't get away. No, you um, can't put me in there for the day. Forget he if, said that. If Christy gets away, gets gets out of control. <laughs> um, yeah. All the uh, all the trailer wiring on this particular trailer is inside the side wall here in the tube. There's access panels that you can get to, including the hydraulics and the hydraulic hoses. As you can see them right here. You can see them coming out of the hydraulic box and entering the center tube back to the main cylinder under the bed. The hoses for the rear cylinder for the tailgate follow back through that tube. And so your hosing is protected. Um, you're not going to catch it on. You're out in the woods with it. You're not going to rip it off, anything like that. It's probably the cleanest frame that you'll ever see underneath a trailer. A lot of guys have wires hanging, hose hanging. A lot of guys okay. don't even put paint underneath. Oh. Well, we got this up. Axles, tell me about the axles. All right, Dexter Axles is the brand that we use at BY's Manufacturing, everything is Dexter. These are both 7K rated axles, four inch drop axles. That settles the trailer down a little closer to the ground, about four more inches. It makes that rear ramp angle a little more easy to access whenever you're loading your equipment. Dexter is one of the premier axle manufacturers in the country. Um, parts are readily available all across the country. It's just one There's of the best a, names. It's a spring axle, right? It is a spring axle. Yeah. Uh, we do get requests at times for Torflex torsion axles, and they are available as an option. They cost a little bit more, but uh, but they are available. I see the cross members on, under the bed here. How far apart are they, and how strong are they? Uh, they're about uh, 16 inches on center. That's pretty common in the trailer industry. The floor sheet above them is a 10 gauge floor, also pretty standard in the industry. Three inch channel, uh, again, pretty standard. It's one of the best cross member materials that you can use and fairly common. The nice thing about our floor sheet, which may not have been mentioned before, is that it's all one piece. There's no seams in the floor sheet. All 16 foot, all 14 foot or 12 foot that we make these trailers in, all one piece floor sheet. Hardly anybody else is doing that in, in the dump trailer manufacturing industry. Yeah, that keeps the stuff from hanging up on yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's not going to catch as it's coming off. One more topic on that. How steep does it tilt? This particular trailer, as most of the BYS dumps, goes up to about 47 degrees. There's some manufacturers only go to 40 degrees, 42 degrees. It makes a big You're difference. You're lucky if you get to 44 degrees. We go to 47. So unless you glue your load in there, it's going to come out. I promise. I guarantee it. Okay, like excellent. That. Okay, so this is called the Ultimate Dump. You have another fancy trailer here. We have another Ultimate Trailer. We call it the Ultimate Combination, Ultimate Combo Trailer. Let's, let's go look at let's it. Let's go take a look at that. Hold it, that's oh, supposed you. to be heavy. You did that with one hand. Coming down. They're telling me this ramp handles about 3,000 pounds. The inner structure underneath the plywood is steel. Same as what's on the ceiling here. It's one by two box tubing. Um, so it is a heavy gate. Obviously it's spring assisted to help you, the user, not break your back on it. This is no ordinary trailer. We combined uh, a, an enclosed trailer up front and a small dump trailer on the back. It's kind of set up to be a, uh, a mowing guys trailer. Your zero turn, your trimmers, all of that equipment fits up here. And you can put your grass clippings and your brush and your cleanup debris 
in the dump trailer on the back. Does the couch come standard? At the GIE show here, the couch is standard. And if you want to buy this and you want to throw another $500 at us, we can probably send the so two chairs and the ottoman along. Might even send the Swedish fish along. If we, uh, um, you know, if you carry here, Swedish so, fish. Oh, Swedish fish. So what I you're like saying this. is, is it's free if we give you an extra five hundred. That's exactly right, okay, and we I love the giveaway big. thing. We really do. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. So what size is this? Is this compartment? All right. So this enclosure is the rectangular portion from here over is eight feet. Plus, you got about a three foot V nose. So from end to end, it's eleven. Obviously, it tapers in that last three feet. Okay. Um, your average zero turn will easily fit in here. You probably can't get two in. Other mowers, possibly uh, more than one. And you can certainly line the walls with your racking for your trimmers and all the other hand tools that you might need. And it locks. Diamond plate floor, ladies and gentlemen. Diamond plate floor. This is not your treated plywood that most enclosed manufacturers are making. The ceiling joists up here, again, are tubing. The same steel is behind the wall, so it's not aluminum, it's not that light duty stuff. This is a heavy duty, heavy built enclosure, not the average. I think Tim needs one, and that when I get mad at him, he can come out here and sleep in here. Mm, air conditioning? It, it works as a sleeping quarters if you find yourself in that position. If the dog house is not an option, maybe the ultimate combo from BYs is. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you can put a few cots in here, coffee machine, even get a little grill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, she that's, won't want it to be too comfortable. That sounds, right. sounds good to me. Uh, so, overall, the gross vehicle weight rating on this is 15,400. So, let's talk about the dump trailer, Mark, oh. because we haven't talked about that. Let's head back here to the back, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, step right up. All right, so what you we have. go ahead and talk, and I've got to eat my Swedish fish. He's eating his Swedish fish. So, folks, here we have uh, the back half of the trailer is a dump trailer. It's seven feet wide and eight feet long. Perfect for your debris, your mulch, your yard cleanups, your grass clippings, whatever that might be. We have this one built with extensions on. The gray portion is a bolt on extension kit, uh, which you can add as an option. Uh, the entire trailer comes with two Dexter 7,000 pound axles. We gross it out at 15,400 pounds. Look at them black aluminum wheels, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you what. Those are classic. They are fantastic. A four inch cylinder, it's powered both ways up and down. How long is this? Eight foot long. And back here in the back, here we have what we call a, a drive on landscape gate. Um, this one is not hydraulic, it's manual. So this is your dump under position. You gave her a Swedish fish. I did. This is your dump under position. And then all we do is latch the bottom tight Okay. And then you can lay it down. Same, same technique as the ultimate dump. And drive your mower or your equipment on that yeah, way. And yet this one's light enough you can do by hand. That's so, exactly yeah. right. Exactly right. Now, do you specifically specify a weight rating on the, the for the for the dump portion, or do you just kind of combine it all together? Well, here here's how we explain that. The total trailer is grossed at fifteen thousand four hundred, but it weighs about. 5,000 pounds empty. So roughly 10,000 pounds is your legal payload. Now we know what people do with trailers. What we don't want you to do on this one is try to put 10,000 pounds of rock in the dump trailer only. Or we don't want you to put 10,000 pounds of equipment just up in the enclosure. We want you to even it out. You won't get very good trailering if you put five tons only back here and nothing up front. And vice versa, you'll have too much tongue weight if you put all the weight up front. So balance it out. Put a ton or two back here, put a ton or two up there, and that'll keep everything somewhat more balanced and easier for you and safer for you to tow. Hammer tone gray paint on the frame. Everything we do is powder coat. It's primed underneath, baked, color coated, baked a second time. Probably one of the best paint finishes anybody's doing in the trailer business, for, uh, frankly speaking. Both of these trailers are available in gooseneck and bumper. The ultimate dump is available in a gooseneck. We have probably will not offer this in a gooseneck because we absorb all the tongue area with that V-nose of the box. So this will be strictly a, uh, a bumper hitch for the time being. Uh, we also do have the hydraulic jack on the front of this one. Okay. Would you like to show that? Oh yeah, I don't. we might have missed that on the other one. We'll show it on uh, this one. We showed one. it over here, but uh, let's just check it out on this one. I like how those are stored. Yeah. So the hydraulic uh, pump unit and the battery are stored in the front driver's side compartment of the enclosure. And we have a two-way hydraulic system in here as well, similar to the ultimate dump. Uh, one function does the dump bed, 
and the other function does the hydraulic jack. Tim, watch yourself there. We'll just raise it up and down a little bit. With the push of a button, ladies and gentlemen, it's fast. The front of the trailer goes up and down. You simply toggle the diverter valve, and Christy, if you want to just watch the dump bed in the back, then we can raise that up and down. And it comes with a long cord, it yeah. also comes with a wireless. This is a 20 foot cord. Uh, there's a wireless remote that's available as well that you can, again, keep in your pocket and control the trailer from anywhere. Last one, Christy. You're welcome, Tim. You're Thank welcome, because you. I gave you those. Yes, I hope you enjoy them, I really do. <laughs> Does a bag come with each trailer? For, for another dollar. Um, if you go across the show and find that container of candy that I stole them from, then yes. <laughs> then absolutely yes. So folks, this is the, the B-Wise Ultimate Combo. A really cool trailer if you need a nice combination effect uh, for your lawn and landscaping business. Uh, we make some really cool trailers at B-Wise. Thanks to Tim here for showing it off for us here at the GIE Show. Everybody seems to love our product. So go to our dealers, buy a bunch of them, and uh, that'll keep us coming back next year. Thanks very much. Now, All right. I heard you were an auctioneer. Who told you that, Tim? Your boss. Well, but I could kind of figure it out, frankly, and, from how fast you were able to go through I, this. I confess, in Pennsylvania, I am a licensed Pennsylvania auctioneer. I keep telling the boss man we should take one of these trailers at the show and actually do a live auction, like on <laughs> on Friday yeah. at, at noon or one o'clock. Yeah. Um, and hey, auctions are fun. Can you do a little bit for us? I don't well, know. Tim, what should we sell? I want to sell this. See if we can get ten dollars out of it. Well, here, why don't we do this? We could sell my empty bag of fish. Here we have, here we have the brochure for the ultimate combo. Tim, would you give me five dollars here? Five, 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 two now, three. And about here, three dollars. Christy, four, four, five, and a five, and a five, and six dollars. Ten dollars, twelve, and there, but fifteen, 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 seventeen and a half. She bid seventeen out. Twenty and a half, twenty, twenty, two and a half. Christy, did you say two and a half? Sir, would you bid twenty, five and a five, and twenty, five, twenty, seven and a half, thirty, thirty, forty, forty, fifty, and a fifty, forty, but fifty. He's in at forty. Christy, do you want to go fifty? Sure. Sir, do you want to go fifty? She said fifty. Now sixty. Anybody bid seventy? Anybody bid seventy? Anybody bid seventy? He keeps not bidding, but he really is. Eighty dollars, ninety dollars, a hundred. Did you say ninety? He's jumping the bid. That's what an auctioneer does. Anybody, anybody, ten, anybody, ten, ninety, ten, ninety, ninety, hundred. I'll be on ten. You're in, sir. You're he's in for a hundred, and she's in for ten. Do you want to go hundred and ten? A hundred and ten. The bid's in a hundred out ten. Anybody? 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 Hundred and ten. Hundred and ten. One twenty. 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 One ten. One twenty. Sold to Christy for a hundred and ten dollars. Woo! Sir, you're out. That's a bargain. There's your brochure, Christy. You bought it. Where's your hundred and ten dollars? That's the problem. I need a good steak dinner today. Let's go, Christy. He has the money. Sean. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we really appreciate this tour. These are incredible trailers, and uh, thanks for your time. Hey, appreciate it. Buy a Be Wise trailer, folks. You're going to love it, I guarantee it, and so does Tim. And we'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. <laughs>